This document is about how to find pin 1 on an IC chip. So in order to use a chip, you need to know how the pins are numbered. Finding pin 1 is the first thing you have to do. After that, the numbers increase going around the chip counterclockwise. So here's an IC. And notice over on this corner, there is a notch and a dimple. Pin 1 is just below that dimple. Here's another chip. You notice this one has just a dimple, or just a notch, I mean, sorry. And so pin 1 is below that. Here we have a chip that has a notch at one end and a shallow circle at the other end. Again, pin 1 is by the notch. Here we have one that has a notch and a circle at one end and a circle at the other end. So pin 1 is again near the end with the notch. Now here we have one that has a deep circle at one end and a shallow circle at the other end. Pin 1 is near the deep circle. So if we, once we know where pin 1 is, the numbering for the rest of the chip goes like this. This is pin 1. So this is pin 2, 3, and so on, up to the end of one side. Then we go to the other side, we continue the numbers, 8, 9, and so on. So in this case, this is a 14-pin chip, and so the pins go from 1 to 7 on one side and 8 to 14 going up the other side. So in summary, pin 1 is at the end with the most or deepest notches, dimples, or whatever. Note that in all cases shown, if the writing is right side up, then pin 1 is at the bottom left, so you can also use that as a clue. Finally, once you know where pin 1 is, after that the numbers increase going around the chip counterclockwise.